I'm Kyra Willis, and this is VCU Insight. Outside of masks, hand sanitizer, and surveillance testing, campus living is getting back to a new normal for VCU students. VCU is holding in-person classes for the first time since the fall 2019 semester, which requires more students to live on campus than last year. According to VCU Residential Life and Housing, there are 5,691 students currently living in a residence hall. Compare that to the fall 2020 semester when only 1,081 students lived in a residence hall. This is a huge increase in the number of students deciding to reside on campus. Despite COVID-19 cases in the Commonwealth still on the rise, VCU is still enforcing in-person learning. Insight's Treshawn Holcomb has more. Thank you, Kyra. Some VCU students are excited to be taking a number of classes back in person after being virtual for over a year, and they have. VCU students are transitioning back to normal now that in-person learning has resumed. According to Senior Vice Provost Charles Klink, students miss the social and learning connections that they make in a class environment. VCU's decision to offer more in-person classes comes after students face many online learning obstacles. It was challenging on a couple levels. Uh, one level was engagement in the actual class. Um, the absence of being able to have contact, one-to-one -one contact with faculty was difficult for many students. According to VCU, the fall semester will see a higher percentage of in-person classes with a mix of hybrid and online classes. VCU student Jalen West states that she is currently taking mostly in-person classes this semester, but was fearful due to the Delta variant of COVID-19. West prefers online classes because she can work on assignments on her own time. The transition overall has been like pretty good and I'm glad to be interacting with people again. According to the Vice Provost, VCU will continue to monitor COVID cases. Students can expect more in-person classes for the spring semester. For more information regarding VCU in-person class offerings, make sure you visit www.vcu.edu. Back to you, Kyra. Lunchables have been added to the COVID-19 food shortage list. Many parents who rely on these convenient lunches have voiced their complaints. Here's Gabrielle Thomas with more information. That's right, Kyra. Lunchables all over the U.S. like these have been off the shelves lately now parents are trying to find a healthy alternative for their kids. The demand for Lunchables is at an all-time high right now. However, a Lunchables spokesperson mentioned that Lunchables is seeing double-digit growth for the first time in five years. Uh, Lunchables and the uh, convenience of them. So we use them pretty much on a daily basis. While Porter is not the only one, parents are outraged with the shortage since COVID-19 made it a little tough for children to get the proper nutrition. Um, pretty much on a daily basis. They usually have a lot of protein, they have your cheeses and other uh, valuable snacks. And then sometimes they have a nice little treat. So it's a daily for me. The time it takes disappoints her the most. I am, and it's really something that's caused a, a a bit of disruption in our house because, like I said, we use them on a daily basis. So um, being a working mom, it's not easy for me to make my own treats and Lunchables. According to Yahoo News, Kraft Heinz is actively investing in their supply chains and working hard to ensure that the lunch that kids love is back on the shelves. Even teachers are noticing the shortage at lunchtime. I definitely don't see it as often as I used to see it back in like elementary school. I think parents are starting to now go towards like maybe just making food at home or they're getting food at school. Kiara Steele, TA at Holton Elementary, says the shortage may be why more students eat school lunch. Require these programs to provide dinner, being that they don't know these kids are going home hungry. Um, I definitely feel that there is a shortage because that used to be something a lot of parents would go to and I feel like now that is something that they can't really go to because of the shortage. However, an alternative for lunch may not be as tough as moms think. I would say if you can, try to pack a lunch, you know, try to make sure it's healthy foods, of course, to get them through their day. If not, um, with the districts, I know a lot of times you can get free lunch if you qualify. For if you would like to know more information about a healthy alternative for your child, please visit your local grocery store. They may have a variety of options. For VCU Insight, I'm Gabrielle Thomas. Thank you for tuning in.
Please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. For VCU Insight, I'm Kyra Willis. Good night.